user defined attributes this can be a very useful information that you can either assign to the components as well as assemblies and as this is a user defined information that you put inside a predefined attributes you can literally put anything that is a meaningful and useful for you so in this video i am going to talk about how you can assign a user defined attribute using a nx open program where you can find the user attributes in nx part model so let's go to file and go to properties make sure you do have some active part document or assembly in your nx and after that you reach to this dialog this is a displayable displayed part information the first tab itself is attributes and here you will find the various attributes this one is a attribute which is user defined and this component or this part do has some other attributes which are predefined in a system uh, attribute uh, template these are blank at the moment if i go and add the mass or a material to this one uh, this part then this some of these will start appearing so this is where you can see the attributes information now what i am going to show you is i will show you a journal this journal can add the information the properties information in a attribute so how we add it we are definitely going to add it with attribute properties builder when we are looking to create a object any type of uh, object even this attribute is also one of the object so creating object makes sense using a builder so there is a builder pattern available inside nx you might look at other videos that i have created around factory builders to know more on information about the builders so as here we are creating a object we need to use the attribute properties builder the first step itself is to define this builder and then assign this builder using create attribute properties builder and then assign the active work part and other parameters to this builder so once this builder is set up the very immediate step is to define the category of the attribute even its title and its value so i do have added the vendor information uh one of the use case for attributes is definitely we can add the information like vendor name contractor name so that we can create the user defined values for the each and every component and then at the assembly level we get this all information very readily available so making that as a use case i have added the vendor information in this code and then once i add this information i can simply go and commit this builder committing means i am confirming that this detail should go inside the the user attributes and i am committing that that builder so that that particular property is getting created as a attribute and finally we are destroying that builder so this is a very simple code that even you can copy and uh, try out at your end once i able to have this code ready i can simply go and click button on my journal editor definitely this will do the job for me it is going to create that attribute for me and then i can even validate if that attribute is clearly created uh, as per the instructions or not in my nx screen the journal has finished execution now i am going to see in file properties if i do have this attribute created i have scrolled down to the right of this uh, table part attributes table and i can see that 
vendor is a category then it's a title of the property and this is the value of this property so this is how i can go and create the user attribute using nx open program here i am introducing a course called c sharp essentials for nx open customization and programming enroll now and unlock the power of customization in nx don't miss out